Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find the discriminant of this equation. So in the equation, we have negative 6n squared minus 3n plus 6 equals 0. So what we need to first understand is what is the discriminant and why is it going to help us? Well, the discriminant is what we're going to take the square root of when we look at the quadratic formula. And I'll write the quadratic formula here in just a second. But what the discriminant helps us find out is what and how many of our solutions we're going to have. Because if you take the square if you take the square root of a square number, you're going to have two rational terms. You have like, if I take the square root of 25, I'll have the answer to that is plus or minus 5. However, if you take the square root of a positive number that's not square, then you're going to have two irrational numbers, um, a positive and a negative. And then, of course, if we take the square root of a negative number, we're actually going to get into the imaginary number system. Um, as you can't take the square root of a negative number, so it's going to be imaginary roots. So let's take a look at, first thing, let's remind ourselves what exactly the quadratic formula is. Quadratic formula says opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Now remember, we're just using the discriminant. We're not going to actually find the zeros or the solutions, but what we want to do is know what type of answers we're going to get even before we figure out the rest of this answer. So when looking at the discriminant, all we're going to be concerned about is what's going to be under our square root because we want to know what kind of number we're going to be taking the square root of. Now remember, you can only take the quadratic formula from a quadratic equation, which can be rewritten in the form of an squared plus bn plus c. So for this problem, my coefficients a, b, a and b are going to be my variables, and then c will be my constant. So here my b is going to be negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 6 times c, which is positive 6. So therefore I get 3 squared, which is 9. And you can see it's actually going to be plus, and then I do 6 times 6, which would be because the two negatives will make it plus. Um, 6 times 6 is 36, so it looks like it's going to be 144. So then I do uh, the square root of 153, and I look at that and I say, is that a square number? Um, and it's close to being a square number, but it's not actually a square number. Uh, the next closest two square numbers between that are 144, 12 squared, and 169, 13 squared. So this is not a square number, so therefore what I'm going to have is 2... Um, irrational solutions. And there you go. That's how you use the determinant to uh, describe your solutions. Thanks.